I had a question about this circuit and what this circuit does is when daylight hits the solar cell the lamp goes out and when there is no light at night the lamp comes on. Well the question was how can I reverse this? In other words they want the lamp to come on when it's uh, light or daylight, and they want it to go out when it's at night. So I thought, that's a, a good question. The only problem is I can't find my solar cell. I don't, I don't know what I did with it or even if I have it anymore. But rather than order one and, you know, wait week or two before I can do this video, I thought, well, I'll just go to the original because I did find the photo transistor. And this is the original circuit. And it does the same thing as the previous circuit that you saw. When light hits the photo transistor, which is um, below the 100K ohm resistor, it turns off the MOSFET because the phototransistor is conducting and basically grounds out the gate. Now, when night hits, well, the phototransistor no longer conducts or is turned on, so that 100K ohm resistor can put voltage on the gate. It's an end channel uh, MOSFET, so the light comes on. And again, the question is, how can you reverse this? Well, before we go any farther, I had done a video on phasing. And it is very important information and very useful information. And I will have a link to that video in the show more of this video. And here is the information that I want to show you from that previous video on phasing. If you take a look at the top oscilloscope trace. The output is coming from the collector of the transistor. It's an NPN transistor and it's just a general purpose transistor. I use a 2N2222 a lot. It's a very good general purpose transistor. And if you look all the way to the right and at the description you can see that the top trace that is coming out of the collector is 180 degrees out of phase with the base. And that small bottom uh, trace is the base input signal. Now let's take a look at the output at the emitter. It is just the opposite same signal, everything's running at the same time. Phase that's coming out of the emitter is in phase with the base. Very Im uh, important information. It's very, very useful. So I have made a video starting with this circuit and I'm going to show you how you can use that information on phasing to reverse how this circuit works. In other words, the question again was, how can I reverse how this operates? Rather than have the light come on at night, he wants the light to come on during the day. Let's take a look at the video. Here's the original setup. 
and this I've got uh, two hundred thousand ohm resistors here and here. This one's shorted out right now, and that one's on the emitter of this photo uh, transistor. And the photo transistor is in is uh, basically uh, a sensor or a photo cell uh, and a NPN transistor. So this is, like I said, the original. This uh, circuit right here. Now, when I take a light and put it over the sensor the light turns off the bulb okay now I'm going to change this circuit I'm going to unshort the lower hundred and hundred thousand ohm resistor I'm going to change the gate to the emitter and now I'm going to short out the upper hundred thousand ohm resistor So now, when I turn on this light and bring it over here, the light turns on the bulb. Just the opposite. And just like in the phasing that I went through a little earlier. Now I'm going to switch it back. I'm going to unshort the top 100k ohm resistor. And I'm going to move the gate to the collector. And I'm going to short out the bottom. So this is out of the circuit. Okay, the video shows us that if we take the output at the collector, the circuit works like this. When it's daylight, the lamp is out. And when it's night, the lamp is on. But if we take the output from the emitter, It's just the opposite. When it's daylight, the lamp is on, and when it's night, the lamp is out. So phasing is very important to understand. Thanks for watching.